We're hours away from the first day of back to school after a long summer break. All parents will be focusing on getting the students off with the least amount of conflict. For this Inspire Jamaica, Curlin Brown zones in on the variations if the child has a developmental disorder. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. No matter the source from which it flows, naturally or man-made, water is enticing. It's captivating and it's calming. Right after summer, the most popular three words, back to school. Oh yes, it's time to get those children out of the comfy zone and back into the early mornings and getting ready to go off to where education matters. Back to school. All right, yeah. Come up here. Lowenfield and Terry and Elaine, parents of 13-year-old Alex Xavier, are among thousands of families brushing off August and welcoming September with mixed emotions. <laughs> Back to school first comes with some anxiety, I must tell you. Uh, first and foremost, he's changing school. He has just finished um, kindergarten, uh, not kindergarten. Primary right. level. He has just finished primary level, and we are now going into secondary. secondary um, so he's changing school. You know, it's a bit of anxiety for us because we don't know what the environment holds. But that's pretty much the same for anyone dealing with a first, you may say. True. Just that Alex, as they call him, is one of the approximately 700 children born with autism yearly in Jamaica. You know, autism is a developmental disorder. It affects children in different ways. So one child can be nonverbal, the other may not be. Um, him being nonverbal, and I still say nonverbal because he's minimally verbal, We're getting a few words out, but we're still working on that. Um, not yet used to the environment, and he's somebody who, he doesn't really adapt quickly to new environment. He tends to have a little anxiety until he's comfortable and wanting to settle down. For, for us, especially with a child that's minimally verbal and he has to have a caregiver at all times during mm -hmm. school, it's not only just prep for the child, it's prep for the, the caregiver as, as well. The um, person needs to be acclimatized with the environment, understanding his needs and adapting to that environment um, as, as well. And understanding too that our child is not gonna take the regular academic um, route, right? He has to have a program that is tailored specifically for him to meet his, to meet his needs. So um, it, it's, it's not only that the program needs to be specialized, but you know, being in a new school, new environment, um, you know, new faces around, all those sort of things. And autism is a condition that the, the children typically like routines and familiarity. And while that might be so for, you know, your neurotypical children, it is even heightened when it comes on to a, to a child with, um, with autism. When you go to Inspire Jamaica is crowning the Elaine's model parents, who even with the stigma, after experiencing drastic changes in the development of their only child, are sticking it out. Started out at a daycare that is connected to a kindergarten um, facility. So the, the intent was that you transition from daycare into K1, etc. In Because Alex Xavier developed normally up to about one year or a little bit post one. So he would have been counting, would have been saying the alphabet and so on. But then she found that he started to regress. Yes. And then there wasn't the eye contact and those sort of things. So um, having seen those signs, then she indicated to us that, you know, mommy, daddy, something looks like it is it is off. She mm -hmm. didn't put a label on it because right. she, she really didn't know what the label was, mm -hmm. but she, she indicated to us that something was off and she encouraged us to have a discussion with, um, with our pediatrician, which is exactly what we, what we did. Um, yeah. From a series of tests with audiologists, developmental pediatrician, 
and other referrals. More with the Elaines next time. I'm Curlin Brown. Let's continue to inspire Jamaica. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place.